Hey, how's it going? Good. What we got? It's a sword. What's unique about these swords, they're from the Napoleonic Wars. That's cool. I'm here today at the pawn shop to sell three of my swords. I would like to get $6,000. They represent three different countries. This one is British. OK. This one is Prussian. And this one's French. Swords from this era are really collectible. So I called Sean down to the shop to see how rare and collectible they are. They look great. Well, I, I will say you have good taste. I love this stuff. This is why I got involved with collecting arms and armor and then eventually dealing in it. OK, so the big question is, what are these things worth? Let's go back to the British sword. As is, it's a solid $1,500 to $2,000 sword. The Prussian sword, same thing, $1,500 to $2,000. So the last one, how much is this one worth? The French, a solid $1,500 to $2,500 sword. Oh, you're saying for like the three egg, you probably get right around five grand? Yeah, I mean, you're looking 4,500 to 6,500. All three of these swords are really great. They're authentic, wonderful. So what do we take for them? My bottom line is 3,100. Why 3,100, not 3,000? <laughs> it's, it's a reasonable question in my mind. I'll do the 3,000, but I cannot do a penny less. Yeah, I can make money at that. I think it's a win-win. I think that it was a fair price for both of us. I've got a hero sword here for you. A hero sword? Yes, it was used by John Wayne in Rio Grande. A guy claims he has a sword that was used by John Wayne in one of his biggest movies. So I called a guy who knows a thing or two about John Wayne, his son, Ethan Wayne. I think we should start with the Certificate of Authenticity. The Certificate of Authenticity is signed by Eddie Marks, who runs the company. I know Eddie, and uh, he's just a phone call away, so. I think to really get to the bottom of it, we call him up and we send him the COA because his signature's on it. Eddie. Yes. It's Ethan. Hey, Ethan, how are you? So I'm sitting here with this sword and scabbard, uh, supposedly from Rio Grande, and I've sent you the COA. This document is a piece that obviously someone went through great lengths to put together. Western costume doesn't have a specific certificate of authenticity, especially this one. Do you know who the seller was? Well, I thought it was <laughs> Western Costume Company. Wow. Don't shoot the messenger. I, no, no, no. I, I, I'm so devastated. I'm devastated. I really am. I mean, I, I, it's one of my prized possessions. Now to find out it was a fake, you know, I, I'm glad I found out. But at the same time, I'm, I'm really sad. Davey F and Deals, what's up? <laughs> the oldest samurai sword that you've had in the shop. It's like 1500 era. OK. The guy was really old to trade it in, so. I kind of tend to believe him, but it's a lot of money. A lot of money. How much you want for it? 18000 Rocco. Yes, sir. How does this thing open? Typical Davey. He did a trade on this sword and had no idea anything about it. He should have had it checked out. This is what matters right here. This is the name of the master here, Yoshasugu. And then it matches the signature here. That's an actual samurai sword. It's got all the paperwork. It's in excellent condition. It's a fifteen to twenty thousand dollar sword. Told you. <laughs> so I'll give you ten grand for it. Eighteen. Ten grand. Can you take it to an auction or something? Is there some way I can get fifteen thousand dollars out of this? I mean, I'll go like twelve grand, man. I, it's. Well, let's trade something. What are you going to trade for? You got all the tacky jewelry you need. I know. I do have the tacky jewelry. <laughs> I've been eye hustling your sand rail since you got it. Now he wants to try and trade it for my sand rail. Well, I definitely want to make a deal, so let's make it happen. OK, so give me the samurai sword and 10 grand. Samurai sword, three grand. So give me the samurai sword and eight grand. But that's like the best I could do. All right, you got a deal. All right, man. All right. I All appreciate right. it. It'll stay in the family. You know that. OK. All right, let's do some paperwork, man. All right. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a past, I caught the ball myself. He's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.